Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the GameCom, and we are starting a brand new Civilization VI Gathering Storm series. So we are, whoopsie, we're getting about halfway through our second playthrough of all of these civilizations. We're getting there, we're getting there. So with the coronavirus raging, I was thinking of actually doing a series based on uh, the coronavirus, and there is a mod in the workshop that is based on the coronavirus. Uh, it basically takes the Black Death scenario and essentially kind of reworks it so it plays in a normal sandbox game the problem is most people say it's like really really hard almost to the point of not being fun and it hasn't been updated since uh, January so I'm not even sure if it works so I was kind of like eh, I just don't want to do something for like three episodes and then just kind of like end up having to quit so instead I think what we're gonna do is uh, do a religious playthrough and we're gonna spread the joys of toilet paper since you know I know so much of the world is lacking in toilet paper so uh, we shall we shall be the ones that produce toilet paper for the entire world so because of that I wanted to play as a sieve that was a little more religious focused and I think I decided screw it let's go ahead and play as Tamar, who is definitely not my favorite, but mm, whatever, whatever. So let's go ahead and pick Tamar. By the way, if uh, you are new to Civ 6, because guess what? It is, ooh, let's take the red and white. Uh, because you are under quarantine and you wanted a game to play, and so you decided to start playing Civ 6, well, congratulations. The, <laughs> the, uh, the quarantine will be over really quickly for you because my gosh, this game is addicting. So abundant, start position, standard, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're just gonna leave everything as is there is our map seed and hopefully we get a decent start we've been getting some pretty good starts recently but we'll see how it works so why is Tamar not my favorite? Well, mostly because all of her abilities are just kind of like, eh. Well, okay, I should take that back. Strength and Unity is pretty good. So essentially, when you're making dedications uh, at the beginning of a Golden or Heroic Age, you also get a Normal Age bonus, which means a lot of times when you get a Golden Age, it's easy to end up with a Dark Age afterwards, just because you don't have a bonus that gives you, or a dedication that gives you uh, extra uh, uh, era score. So being able to do that actually helps out a lot. But like her glory of the world kingdom and faith is kind of mm. so you get 100% faith for 10 turns after declaring a protector at war like who cares you know like how often do does one actually declare a protector at war especially on dating not really all that often although we could have used it last uh, last series when we we're uh, looking at Germany taking our city state. And then each envoy you send to a city save your majority religion counts as two, which is kind of nice, except the fact that you have to use a spread on a city state, which I'm generally not keen to do because I'd rather just save my spreads and hit the uh, cities so we can actually win the game. And then her unique unit is in the spearman tree and her unique buildings in the wall tree, which is just like, all right. Oh, hey, we're England. <laughs> I just now realized we are totally England with that color. Okay. This is a terrible start, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, we don't even have Plains Hills Mirror, man. I mean, we have Plains Hills there, but I'm not going to grab that. Although, we do have a 3-1 here pretty close for some food, and we do have a 2-2-1 for some money, and we could also get here for some growth. I mean, this isn't terrible, but the lack of mountains is just kind of meh. This is definitely seeming like a mediocre start to begin with. All right, so our normal... Our, our normal build order when we're going for religious victory is we want to grab astrology as early as possible and I used to go and grab a scout early on so we could scout as much as possible so we could get the boost for the natural wonder but with the tunage towards the warrior or sorry towards the barbarians plus the fact that I don't know it's just been harder and harder to live uh, against the AI I don't say harder to live but uh you definitely can find yourself in a sketchy situation if you only have a scout and a warrior and you have an AI spawning next to you. I think we're going to be a little safer and spawn out another warrior just to kind of help protect ourselves. So, all right, let's keep exploring. The other thing is there was a post about a week ago on the subreddit talking about barbarians. And one of the things they mentioned was that every barbarian encampment spawns eight tiles from a city center. So we only really need to scout like eight tiles from our city center. And if we hadn't found a barbarian encampment in that direction, then we can go to another direction. By the way, were we the first one? Yes, we were. Okay, thank you. That is very exciting news. Very exciting news. By the way, what are you working? I hope you're working the three food. Uh, yeah, yeah, the two two is probably worth it. And yeah, and then the elephant in four turns. Okay, when are you growing five turns? Yeah, that'll be fine. You can go one extra turn of just the food. Are we on the coast here? We're on the coast. Interesting. 
Um, are we trapped? Nope. Nope. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Hopefully there is not a civilization right here. That would be pretty catastrophic for us. Uh, I would also really like a natural wonder here game. Just throwing that out there. You know, the... Not the close to Dover. I'm trying to think. What is the the rainforest one? Or sorry, the uh, coastal one that spawns in the coast. Uh, I I can totally picture it. I just can't think of its name. Wonder civilization. Where the freaking heck is wonders, man? Buildings, wonders, and projects. Wonders. Are these my wonders? Yes. Technology, civics, governments, religions, trains, features. There we go. Natural wonders. Aha. Uh, Galapagos Islands would actually be really nice too. Great Barrier Reef. How long bay? That's what I was talking about. But, ooh, I would actually rather have Galapagos Island or... Uh, what was the other one I just said? Galapagos Island or Great Barrier Reef. Definitely. So, we're going to go pop out our second city right away. Probably go settle right here. Not particularly fond of this tile, but we will get Aeroscore because it's on floodplains. Uh, I'm sending you up here just to make sure. It looks like the coast is just going along right here, but I just want to double check on that. Also, it seems like we didn't have any barbarians spawn on us. That's weird. Okay. We seem to have quite a bit of room over here. So we'll probably... I don't know. Depends on where our opponents are. Free builder. Ooh, nice. Now, the thing is, I can't use this builder. At this point, so we will send him out and about just to kind of, uh, you know, maybe get a little bit of scouting with him. Should actually send him over here, but oh well. I'm not going to send him down here. I could, but I'm a little worried about barbarians spawning. Um, okay. This is an okay map for us. I think this is okay. The fact that we don't have mountains, though, sucks. This can make it really, really difficult to get a religious victory, but oh well. Oh well, we just won't have any bonuses. Hey, I guess that offers us a nice little challenge then. So, hey, we found an encampment. So there is a city center then within eight tiles. That Although I best. think the water screws it up a little bit, but I don't remember how. Uh, we want the plus one faith because I'm trying to get to uh, my Pantheon so I can get a free settler. And then you're coming down here just to scout as quickly as possible. And we should be able to kill you. We got, we never found our natural wonder. We will probably finish the Settler, and then we will pop over to, uh... You know what? Let's do Foreign Trade in Early Empire. Because we don't see any civs near us. Uh, but then we'll pop over to our, uh... Holy site. <laughs> I was gonna say Campus, but I'm like, wait a second, it's not Campus. Okay, keep scouting, keep killing. After this... Animal husbandry is still another 10 turns. So we definitely could take you out. And I might just take you and put you on this tile real quick just to see what's there. Because you're going to come in scout this way. You know, we never saw his scout. Yeah, how did we miss his scout? Interesting. We definitely should pick up animal husbandry first, though. More than stone? Yeah, I think so. Grabbing that, grabbing that. Now, unfortunately, you're a little bit too far away. One, two, three, four. Otherwise, we could get potentially Temple of Artemis, but oh well. Oh well. You know what? Screw you too, game. <laughs> I didn't want to go that way anyways. Uh, the other thing with the Barbarians is they have a certain threat level, and hitting the unit that is garrisoning the encampment actually lowers the threat level. So if the scout discovers you and you're worried about them hitting you, you just need to do a little bit of damage there. Um, just to lower the threat level by a bunch, if I remember correctly. But once again, go check out the subreddit and uh, you can see for yourself and see what I'm re referencing. All right, down to seven turns. Okay. You are now... Ah, shoot. You know, that actually really sucks for us. That really sucks for us. I am not going to lie. Because we got this scout we have to deal with now. Shoot. So this is going to be ours forever and ever and ever. So I want to come settle down here. So let's move you out this way. And we're going to try coming through here. And hopefully get down south without having to be too scared. Um, okay. Then I need a holy site as quickly as possible. <laughs> I 
I can't even do a triangle with the harbor, man. Gosh. I can't even do it. I guess I could rip this up and put a campus here, but like, ugh. I suppose we might end up harvesting the cattle. You're a plus one. Why are you a plus one, by the way? Oh, from the woods. Yeah, we don't even have woods around. Golly, man. I suppose we are just going to go there for the plus one at this point. Eight turns on the holy site isn't too bad. Nah, it's it's not super slow. Not quite as quick as I would like, but that's okay. Um, I would like to get vision on you, if at all possible. You're going to come here and start hitting. You have enough HP. Let's bring you back home. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. That was only five tiles away, not eight. Um, I still think there's something down. Actually, this seems like it's at the bottom of the map. Yeah, this definitely seems like this might be the bottom of the map. Interesting. So we got ourselves a nice little island over here. All right, you come here and then come over here. And then you're coming back home, my friend. Uh, we might as well take you over here and just see what's up there. Just see if there's anything. You have vision right now. Good. He can't grab me. He can get close. I wouldn't mind him threatening me. All right, you're dead. Goodbye. And that was error score, too. Wait, why was that error score? Oh, because it was so close to our city center. Uh, all right, we good. You're going to go here, get ready to go. You're going to go here, get ready to come settle down here. This will also give us error score settling on the floodplains. And I'm trying to debate where we want to go. I think we're going to end up putting the city here. This is going to be a huge city. Lots of food. Not so much production, which is basically what this is looking like for us. Okay, he's suicide. Are you freaking kidding me right now? I am so mad right now. <laughs> ah, It's fine. We'll be able to take him back. That 100% happened because of the freaking terrible pathfinding. It said, oh, you can totally make it into the city. So I went to go settle or to go move him into the city. And then the game's like, psych. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. I hate you. I want you to know that. I freaking hate you, man. He should still be suiciding against us, but I mean, it's not like I can really use him until this turn. I know he got captured. If there are no dogs, if there's no dogs in heaven, then there are pigs. <laughs> I don't think that's how it goes. Um, give me mining then, so we can grab the stone quarry. And like I said, I think we're gonna go here. We actually have a campus location. All right. Yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, we can do Holy Site here. I don't think there's any woods over here. There's not. So we'll do Holy Site uh, Harbor, I think will be the plan. And there's Aeroscore again. 32 turns. Ugh. Yeah, because there's no production here. I think I am just going to grab a builder here for the time being. It's going to grow pretty efficiently, though. All right, you're dead. And we have you completely trapped in. Let's go. And then you're going to come over here. I don't know why you're... Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. We should still grab a third warrior, but it is what it is. Anyone getting a religion yet? Yes, one person's getting a religion. But we're about to start uh, making some points as well. And we should have a religion here without too many issues, I think. What about our pantheon? Ugh, still super slow. But that did speed it up ever so slightly. I'm worried about getting the settler one. We might not get it. Someone else might get it in front of us. Does this give us faith per turn? It does say faith. I don't know if it's giving us faith per turn. Or if it's just when it's done. But we want to run that as quick as possible. Great bath got finished. It does give us faith per turn. Nice. So... He's basically ours. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, how do we do this to get him back? Oh, wait, we don't have to worry about it. Okay, come on down there. And the thing is, if we miss the Pantheon, we might actually not want to grab the Settler Pantheon. We might want to grab something like, isn't one of them Rainforest Faith? I think Rainforest provide faith, right? In which case, yeah, that's what we want to roll with. I'm just always so used to grabbing the free settler, but since we have so much room to ourselves and so much room, <laughs> we have room to ourselves. We don't necessarily need the settler. I hate you 
use so much game. <laughs> uh, the barbarians can spawn just a little bit slower, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It must be within eight tiles. It might not be eight tiles exactly. Because we're definitely not getting them at eight tiles. Uh, we're going to run this again. By the way, we do have enough faith now. So next turn, we will get our Pantheon. Uh, and what are we looking like down here? We are now in first place. Yes, we are. We might get our first religion. Nah, surely not. That never happens. When you that never yourself. happens. Nah, there's no way we get the religion before anyone else. Wait, can we build Artemis? Because you're a camp. Can I build Artemis? I can build Artemis. Eh. I forget that elephants are camps because I never see elephants. So we might actually want to go grab that then. You know what? Yeah. Give me archery. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Faith, faith, faith. We could do divine spark. Meh. Meh. Faith from quarries. Eh. Faith from mines, eh. Production and faith from strategic, eh. Two faith from breathtaking, geothermal. Dang it. We can't get the free settler. I thought there was a rainforest faith. What's the rainforest one? Pastures, production from camps. One food, one production. And that would make that a 3-3, three, three, which would be kind of nice. Uh, one, two, three. You're too far away, so no. Hmm, Jason Healing, Builder, Settler, Specialty Districts, Breathtaking Appeal. I mean, the thing is, Breathtaking Appeal might not be a bad one. The problem is, so many of these tiles are just kind of, eh. Uh, what is the appeal? There it is. Okay, never mind. Oh, yeah, because it's all rainforest. That's right. I was thinking we were on the coast, so uh, the appeal should be good, but no. Man... Bonus faith equal to 50% of the strength of each combat unit killed within the eight tiles. One, two, three, four, five. That would be 10 faith? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> the quarry giving us plus two seems significantly better. Do we have another quarry? See, that's the problem. We don't have any other quarries right now. Uh, the wonder one is done too. Someone picked that one, right? Quicker wonder boost. Yeah. Dang. Oh, no, no, there it is. Money to the gods. Because we could do that for an Artemis. We don't have a Petra. Those would be the only two early game wonders we would go for. Generally, I can get Artemis, though, every time I go for it. So I'm thinking probably not. Holy set next to a river. We don't have freaking rivers. I think we're just going to go free settler. It's disappointing, but I think we have to. Eh, not that I have to, but I think we're going to choose to. Okay, so I would very much like to canal. Wrap the canal through here. Probably put it here so I can canal on the cattle. The nice thing about the cattle is we know that there's not some strategic resource there. So eventually... But is that really kind of how I want it? I mean, I, we don't really have any other option because I can't canal through here because these are both hills. Hills. And I mean, I could settle obviously like here, but then I have to do a Panama Canal, which isn't as fun or isn't as likely to happen. The problem, though, one, two, three, I guess I could still settle over here. We have a lot of potential flooding, too. Me. All right, you're coming over here. Actually, you know what? Screw it. That guy should be able to handle that by himself. Uh, and then we're going to move you over here. Where did the scout go? I guess he went this way, because I don't think I remember seeing him over here. Okay. So this is only going to give us gold, apparently. Wait, wait. Cattle are... No, it should give us production. It's a pasture, which is plus one production. So that becomes a 3-1. What tiles are we working right now? We're working a 2-2, a 2-2, and a 3-1. So that doesn't really help. Uh, this would be a 2-2 if we put a mine there. So I will go ahead and put the mine there because I think I'd rather have a 2-2 than a 3-1, but we'll see. Then you're coming here and you're going to start beating down. Probably going to want to heal here in a minute, but we'll see before we keep the killing. Uh, Go knock that out, 2-2. Two, two. 
Yeah, see, the AI is preferring 2-2 over 3-1, which I kind of I kind of agree with. Um, and we are going to end up in a dark age. Dang, dude. No, because we'll have our religion. We should have our religion before the end of the era. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to production. And that's just naval units, so we will keep the barbarians. Uh, keep popping out holy side prayers. Yeah, we should. We should be able to get it. We're gonna have to heal for one turn, it looks like. Okay, you come down here. And then with you done, I think we're just gonna save you for the bananas. Yeah. Which is gonna take a minute for us to actually go get, but that's okay. Uh, so I need to heal for one turn. We could potentially take... Oh, no, it looks like we will get the kill. All right, we will go for the kill then. Because I can settle there, and then you will be healing inside the city center, which is just going to be a quicker heal. So let's just put you at zero for now. You know what? We could send him over here for vision. Eh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, surely. Because this city will give us vision over there as well. So, yeah, I'm not worried about it. Okay, things are going well. Except the fact that we just found more barbarians, because why not? <laughs> Uh, I hate everything about this game. So you're going to fortify up, please. You're only going to heal 10 this turn. Oh, my God. Thank God for the city. Whew. All right, so you will suicide inside the city. You're going to heal now 20 per turn. There is a faith city state over here. That's what I want to see. Uh, might as well pop out a trader out over here. You're still working on the builder. You'll have okay production, uh, but we definitely are going to want to send a trader out then. <gasps> it's Eurovin! Let's freaking go! Oh my god, yes. And we are the first one to meet you. Oh, yeah! What is up? <laughs> that is like instant win right there, guys. That is like, we won the game. We, we have officially won the game. Okay, so we will have the religion before the end of the era, so we will have the normal era. Maybe I want to keep a dark era to begin with, though? Because then we can get a heroic era? Yeah. You know what? We are going to do that. Let's get a dark era. Let's get a dark age. Let's get a dark age so we can get the heroic. What are you looking like? Get the kill. Get the kill, just so you can get the XP. I'll let you heal for now, because I don't want to explore, because I don't accidentally want... Oh, wait, we have the normal era already. <sighs> Will the religion give us a golden era? No, but I still would like to save it for the next era, because there's no way we're going to get a golden era this time. So we might as well save it for the next one in hopes that we can get a... May the forces of Dang it, someone beat me on the religion. Maybe. 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 But, yeah, I still think we want to save it. You got three turns left. Pop over the holy side prayers now. Okay, I think we're good. Archery is done, which means Temple of Artemis is up for us. I would like to get irrigation as quickly as possible. Uh, and, yeah, Temple of Artemis right here, please. Thank you. It's not going to give us any additional faith, so. We could shop. Eh. Eh. Housing, Stonehenge, okay. I meant to move you. We also got pretty decent protection here from Barbarians with the double city-states. I'm digging it. Man, we are so close to the Dark Age. So, Convert, Exodus. Yeah, we should definitely be able to get a Golden Age, I think. Uh, you're going to give me my religion. Did someone grab the religion? Yeah, someone did. Protestant. Uh, warrior Monks and Meeting Houses. Meeting Houses are okay, but yeah, take Warrior Monks, please. <laughs> That's what we should do. We should forcefully send toilet paper to other people with our Warrior Monks. Yeah. So, I could build a farm and get a whole bunch of food, or I could instead do the bananas, or the cattle and bananas. Let's start with the cattle. Let's go there. Holy site is going to be here. We might as well knock it out because that's... We're going to get our religion here, and we're going to want to spread it. Um, I'm going to send you over here at this point because we already have decent enough scouting down here just to kind of keep barbarians from spawning over there. Probably want some unit in here, but I thought clay must. Pottery is now done. What are we at, by the way? Twenty-four minutes. Okay. Yeah, there's no one else on this island. Okay. We got an island to ourselves, which is always GG. Always quite nice when that happens. 
So you're going here. I'm going to have to purchase this so we can get the cattle. So now we have three ones. So at least we have slightly better production. <laughs> slightly. And then you're going to go there and the irrigation is going to give us money, right? Yeah, plus two gold, which isn't all that great. You know what? Screw it. Go get a house. Go get a farm. Housing and farming. Um, I was going to say, have we not got a religion yet? So, Great Prophet establishes a religion. Recruit, please. Thank you. Come down here. Thank you. And we are going to entitle this Jeff's Best Toilet Paper. Jeff's Best Toilet Paper. Jeff's Best. I'm trying to think what would be a good brand name. Like Charmin. I think Jeff's Best, right? Jeff's Best and then let's do dash toilet paper. Because we're giving people toilet paper. We're sharing toilet paper with the world. All right, relics, probably. 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 Housing, eh. Plus one production, eh. Culture, eh. Amenity, eh. I guess we're gonna do reliquaries because I don't really like any of these. And then we always want to grab uh, the cheaper, there he is, cheaper to purchase. Anytime you're going for a victory, just being able to ch purchase them 30% cheaper is just GG. Like, it, it's pretty much, I don't say necessary, but it's so good that there's no reason you don't want to grab it. How do we get a scout? Oh, you gave me a scout. Okay. Thank you. Interesting. So, um... Kind of looks like it's probably ice, but it almost looks like the desert sea. Okay, you're fortifying there. Just to keep as much vision as possible. Irrigation six turns away. Hello, barbarians. Early empire is done. We definitely want to grab production towards settlers instead. And we can get rid of you. Yeah, but for what? We still have the production towards units. We're not producing settlers, Brian. Why? Why? It's a very good question, Brian. That is actually an extraordinarily good question. <laughs> habit, that's why. A hundred percent, that is a hundred percent because of habit. Like, I'm always grabbing it out of habit. Because we're always usually popping out as many cities as possible. Dang, dude. Let's go Yervin. I was debating about. Valley. Okay, I can I can dig Yosemite. Uh, one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's something else over here. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I was thinking about putting it here so I could send the trader out and get one extra production here for the wonder, but eh, eh. Kind of digging this. Yeah, I kind of think this is an okay area for us. All right, let's go over here, and you're going to work the bananas here in a second. And we're going to be making... I mean, my God, we have 500 gold. What are we doing right now? 560. We can totally buy a freaking... That never happens. Oh, they have archers. Seriously? Dang it, city-states, man. He's going to shoot me, too, isn't he? The man who has... All right. Have fun with that. <laughs> Have fun with that. Whoever's down there. I'm just going to go this way. You guys can have fun. We'll go grab iron because it might extra uh, might be extra production depending on where the iron spawns. But let's be honest, we're not going to get iron spawned in any of my territories. Uh, we can now work bananas. And we can grab a settler. The question is where? I think we probably do want to go here. If we go here, we can canal, but it's a terrible spot. I think I got to go right here. Honestly, a canal in there might not be that helpful anyways. Lots of desert terrain, which means this would be a great Petra city. We'll see how that works. 
Also, we probably need to wrap this up. Yeah, we're going to wrap this episode up here. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button in the game. Come and share your support. Having fun with this. Hope you guys are too. I'll see you guys next episode. Later, everyone.